everybody wanted a sign for Ralston Creek, and it was just really wasn't much to say about it. Um, we knew there was a creek there. Early maps show it, or the plat maps show the creek running through the area, and it meandered heavily. And at some point we knew, because where it is now is very much channelized. It's dug deep into a trench. So somebody did that, but when? And uh, the first, first detailed maps of the area come out in 1933 with the Sanborn fire insurance maps, which are the um, foundation of any good map collection. Um, they're available now online. Um, ProQuest has digitized all of them. But they didn't start until 1933, and the neighborhood was um, platted in 1908. So. That's a good amount of time that something happened, but we don't know when or what. And there was also an idea that the railroad probably had something to do with it because um, when it came through, it must have changed the course of the stream because it went past the railroad and then back again before it was through there. So the railroad probably did um, do some alteration. Probably a local developer probably paid to have it channelized but then it's still flooded so the thought was but never proven was the public works administration um, not the WPA but the PWA <laughs> the, the organization that actually went out and did public works projects as opposed to um, administering you know, works progress um, Probably then, in the 30s, they were doing a lot of work in the in Iowa City area. Um, there was the thought that they built the old art building, for instance, and I heard about that. And so it was a typical project for them to do is to put in sewers and channelized creeks and things like that. So um, we thought that's what happened, but we couldn't prove it because um, 1933 is the first we find out that in there is a plat showing the, the creek meandering, and then there's the sandborn maps showing it channelized and what happened in between and when, we didn't know. 